In Microsoft Teams, Chats and Channel Conversations, we can add tabs to the top that make some resources more readily available. For example, if we start out in Chat, and I go to my Chat with Irvin, I've got my original four tabs up here, Chat, Files, Organization, and Activity. So maybe as we're chatting and having a conversation back and forth, I want to add a resource for us to collaborate on, uh, maybe short term or maybe long term. So I choose the plus sign up there to add a tab, find what is I want to add, and then we both have convenient access to it. So we know about that. Now take the same concept and apply it to a channel, where we've got our post files and wiki, and the sales and marketing team specifically has already added a tab for sales report. So let's see what sales report is. So our sales report is actually a Power BI report. So I can come here and interact with Power BI as if I were actually outside of Teams. Right, so it brought one more tool into my team where we can just go back and forth between our post and our sales report. And maybe we even pop out a chat and have a conversation while we're uh, working on this report. So let's click on the plus sign for a channel and see what our options are. Right away, you probably notice visually there's a few more here than what we had for a chat. Um, you may recognize some familiar ones though, like website and Excel. Uh, but now we have SharePoint as well and tasks by planner and to do. So let's look at this tasks by planner and to do real quick. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and use an existing plan. So I'm going to drop this down, use our product launch event, and save. All right, so in addition to our conversations and our Power BI report, now we have our planner plan here as well. So people can drag and drop the tasks, update the task details, complete tasks, and work together, again, all from one single uh, pane of glass here. So that's really the whole idea of you know adding additional tabs to a channel is to just bring the resources together, right? One toolbox. And we do that per channel. So just keep in mind, even though we're on monthly reports now and we have the sales report and the product launch event, if I add a new channel, those aren't going to be there. So you can see I just start over fresh again with post, files, and wiki. So next time you're working in a, a specific channel, think about what it is in addition to the conversations and the meetings and the files that you share around that topic, what other apps or websites or resources could you bring in to really just make a dynamic digital modern workplace?